here we are in Lehighton, Pennsylvania, uh, along the Lehigh River, about 25 miles north of Allentown. The weather is freezing cold, and I'm going to be asking people who are visiting this canal park uh, what they think of the plastic water bottle artwork that I created in conjunction with the Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen. This week, climate scientists, world leaders, and concerned activists from around the world are meeting at COP15 in Copenhagen, Denmark, for the United Nations Framework Convention and Climate Change Conference. This temporary outdoor art installation you see next to me is a metaphor meant to challenge the minds of those who see the sculpture and walk between its walls. So what is the purpose, you must be asking yourself. So, have you, have you guys ever seen anything like this before? No, no. not really. Not even no? close. I thought you actually pulled them all out of the canal because more people um, dispose of them improperly in the canal than I think anywhere. <laughs> well, it definitely makes me think of the idea that everything needs to be used at least two times and you've done that and now they want a fort made out of recycled water bottles. <laughs> is to get visual expression of the mounting waste created by wattled water companies and draw greater awareness to diminishing water quality of our rivers and streams. My overall intention for this video is to educate curious minds and provoke thoughtful discussion and hopefully change our behavior with regard to the way we use Earth's finite resources. When you do good deeds and are a force for positive change, people notice. One enters the watershed with little expectation of experiencing a paradigm moment. Hopefully that person exits with a better sense of the colossal waste created by the bottled water industry. Many people gladly spend two dollars for a bottle of so-called spring water when at the same time there are countless people in developing nations who cannot even get well water into their village. Mothers have to keep their young daughters home from school in order to send them out each morning to collect water for the family. Their families rely on them to haul water from miles away for cooking and sanitation needs. This is not right. This is not humane. And those of us in technologically advanced societies can definitely do better. In 2003, some 109 children from 32 countries met at the Children's World Water Forum in Japan to discuss water issues. Amidst their agenda, there was group discussion regarding bottled water usage. One topic they were no doubt questioning was whether drinking bottled water made economic sense for the planet. What in essence is an actual watershed? A textbook definition describes a watershed as a land that water flows across or under on its way to a stream, river, or lake. For example, we have the Mississippi River watershed and the Chesapeake River watershed. Both are extremely large. However, a watershed can be relatively small. Take the Lehigh River we're standing next to. The Lehigh watershed is only 1,360 square miles in size. The Chesapeake, in comparison, is 64,299 square miles. Six states in the District of Columbia. And all of these basins are interconnected. The fact that they are all interconnected makes it super critical to minimize pollution everywhere. So as you've gathered by now, everyone lives in a watershed. You and everybody you know are part of the watershed. And let's not forget about the fish, birds, and other wildlife that are a part of the watershed community. A curious thing that most people see but don't give much thought to is the little expiration date printed on the label. Why is there an expiration label on bottled water anyhow? It's not because the water itself will spoil, no. It's because the hazardous chemicals used to make the plastic container Carcinogens and endocrine disruptors, such as phthalates, that make plastic flexible, gradually leak out of the plastic and contaminate the water. The bottled water industry has stressed the message that water is necessary for our well-being. Well, yes, water is indeed good and necessary for all our well-beings, but the source of that water is what is at issue. And therein lies the deception perpetuated by the bottled water corporations. Companies like Nestle, Coca-Cola, and Pepsi co-opt a town's groundwater supply and ship it out by the tankers full, leaving the community high and dry, so to speak. 
This is outright exploitation of the worst kind because residents of most communities do not recognize what is ultimately at stake. The corporate privatization of water is a global problem that creates grave social justice issues and generates ethical conflicts across regions. Bottled water sales are dropping worldwide as more people are rediscovering the tap and recognizing the negative economic aspects of overpriced water. Water, what does it mean to you? From an early age, we all learn the importance of water in our lives. If you were to ask young children, they would answer with simple, fundamental responses. Children are the most creative people in our world. Grown-ups dismiss these viewpoints all too often. But kids tend to be more on target. Someone somewhat older, with real-world experience and political exposure, would provide a more nuanced description. Not all discarded plastic bottles make their way into landfills, either. The world's oceans host a steadily growing collection of plastics, most notably in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch that's the size of Texas and swirls around the northern Pacific Ocean. Most people don't know it's there, and that's another huge problem in itself. The proliferation of plastics in the world's oceans poses a serious threat to many marine organisms, and some scientists are concerned that rather than breaking down entirely, plastics actually break down into minute pieces which could potentially be consumed by microscopic organisms. This could have serious environmental repercussions because such organisms are not able to digest plastics. They could be consumed by animals higher up the food chain, and this could potentially cause such predator organisms to accumulate a variety of the hazardous substances used in plastic production, leading to a breakdown in the health of the world's oceans, as well as impacting the health of animals, including humans, which use these organisms as a source of food. Ever hear of the food chain? I know you have. The reason I spent the time and effort to construct this bottle sculpture was so I can draw attention to one of the ways that society continues to waste valuable natural resources. In recycling, plastic bottles are shredded into chips which are then sterilized and sold to companies which produce products made from recycled plastic. This stage in the life cycle of a plastic bottle can get quite interesting as these plastic chips can be used for everything from fleece to artificial lumber. Recycling is not a trivial act. It is an educational process that requires constant effort. The idea of recycling trash has long been a foreign concept to our Western societies. We were brainwashed into becoming consumers, and not enough attention was focused on what we were doing to ourselves. But many people are turning that mentality around. Besides the sheer number of plastic bottles produced each year, the energy required to manufacture and transport these bottles to market severely drains limited fossil fuels. Bottled water companies, due to their unregulated use of valuable resources and their production of billions of plastic bottles, have presented a significant strain on the environment. Plastic bottles have been used for decades and they're likely to be around in one form or fashion for many more decades to come. We've seen over the past couple of years the increasing need for all of us to change our viewpoints toward the way we're going to conduct ourselves in the future. Renewable energy policies are springing up all over. I truly believe that what affects one affects us all. Yes, as long as it's we're safe. talking it's clean, safe, safe water, yeah. then definitely but the yeah. less plastic that's used is the better. Yeah. Do your share. Give back to your community and world. Get involved in local level citizen grassroots projects. Raise your voices, discuss with your friends, talk to your municipal officials about recycling. You can bet that other people have the very same concerns about their future too.